fasten your seatbelts. Would you take the challenge if I told you in six weeks you could have a healthy, fit, lean body? I know I'm ready to sign up. And Tracy, who wrote the brand new book called Belly Burn Plan, joins us right now. And Tracy, why did you write the book? Well, the Belly Burn Plan is, is something after working with clients for many, many years, um, I, I discovered that a lot of them, after following what would be considered like a one-size-fits-all diet, um, some of them were seeing results and a lot of them weren't. And so I did some digging, I did some investigating, um, I went back to school again for a second master's degree to really get my arms around this and I discovered that there is a way that we can eat that's right for our body type. And so the belly burn plan is much more of a lifestyle than a diet. Um, you know, I loosely use the word diet, but I mostly focus on nutrition and getting people to eat in a way um, that they're avoiding the foods that they shouldn't eat and eating more of the foods that they should. And so so um, combining that with um, a really comprehensive exercise program that's developed for people, whether they're just getting off the couch or whether they're advanced athletes and they're working out all the time, and then combining that with healthy lifestyle tips. So it's everything that you could need under one roof, and um, yeah, it's, it's something that's really effective and my clients love it. Well, Tracy, no doubt you're going to be helping millions of people with this book. Congratulations on its success already. But let's dive into it and talk about the foods that we should be eating and those that we should be avoiding. We, yeah, well, we could talk for hours about like what we need to eat and avoid. So I'll just break it down to the, the pear and the apple type because they're pretty different. So the apple type is somebody that gains a lot of weight through the midsection, and the pear type is somebody that gains a lot of weight through the hips and the thighs. So they're, they're pretty different. So if you're an apple type, that person that gains the belly fat, um, you need a diet that's higher in protein, higher in fat, lower in refined carbohydrate. And so this Green Goddess smoothie from the book is perfect for you. It's, it's again, a good source of protein, good source of fat, and um, let's not be afraid of fat either. And it's lower in refined carbohydrate. Actually, there's no refined carbohydrate in it. And then this pear, pear shape, breakfast, this yogurt parfait is delicious. It's got a lot of really good complex carbohydrates in it, but it's lower in fat. It's a little bit lower in protein too. And then moving over to lunch over here, the steak fajita salad is delicious for the apple type. Guacamole, cheese, we've got some really great steak here for you. And then also some good vegetables. Everybody still needs their veggies. But the pear type does well with this butternut squash soup, which is a lot lower in protein, a lot lower in fat, but higher in complex carbohydrates. And so this will definitely hit the spot for the pear type. And then dinner, we've got the stuffed peppers. And the stuffed peppers are filled with really delicious vegetables, but also lean ground turkey. So you're getting protein, but it's not the high fat protein that the apple type might do better with. And then the apple type over here has the almond crusted pork chop, which is another great recipe from the book, and pairing that with some tricolor carrots. So everybody's getting their nutrients from the vegetables. That's never neglected. But um, you know we're getting the right amount of protein, carbohydrate, and fat for each body type. Well, I learned something about personalizing it to your body type, so that's awesome. What do you tell your clients, and in particular me right now, because I have struggled with it, about portion control? So one thing I don't do is I don't count calories, and that's something that you'll never find in the book. I don't count calories, and I give people, I start them all with a reasonable portion. So oftentimes I have people that read the book, they share it with their husband. Their husband might be, um, if it's the wife that has the book, their husband might be significantly bigger, needs to lose weight, but should be eating still a little bit more than um, his smaller counterpart might need to. So, you know, I try to establish a reasonable portion size for everybody and then eat to the point where you're feeling just, just just satiated. You don't want to feel like you need to roll away from the table. You don't want to feel like you need to push the table away or take a nap after you finish eating, but feel really content. And the nice thing is that because you're eating the right foods for your body, you always find that balance. You're never craving something afterward, which I think is the thing that brings people back into the kitchen, opening the refrigerator again. So again, it all goes back to eating the right foods for your body type. And Tracy, before we go, many of us know that we need to get out there, eat right, exercise, but we don't. So mentally, how should we prepare ourselves to follow the plan? 
I always say that an object in motion stays in motion. So I think my job is to motivate you, to motivate the viewers, to motivate my readers, and to get them up off the couch. Once they get moving and they've got support around them, it's, it's so important. It's an important thing also, though, to balance that with proper sleep and stress management. Because if you can manage your sleep and if you can start managing your stress a little bit better, and all of us need to do a better job at that, then finding that motivation to get moving, to get your foot out the door, to start exercising exercising or to get get to the grocery store and avoid the cookie aisle and go toward the vegetables or the lean meats is going to be a lot easier for you. Tracy, thank you for your great insights, your inspiration, and of course the plan. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Con.